The Christian Science Monitor (CSM) is a non-profit news organization that publishes daily articles in electronic format as well as a weekly print edition. It was founded in 1908 as a daily newspaper by Mary Baker Eddy, the founder of the Church of Christ Scientist. As of 2011, the print circulation was 75,052, according to the organization's website. The Monitor's global approach is reflected in how Mary Baker Eddy described its object as to injure no man, but to bless all mankind. The aim is to embrace the human family, shedding light with the conviction that understanding the world's problems and possibilities moves us towards solutions. The Christian Science Monitor has won seven Pulitzer Prizes and more than a dozen overseas press club awards. Topic. Reporting Despite its name, the Monitor is not a religious-themed paper, and does not promote the doctrine of its patron church. However, at its founder Eddie's request, a daily religious article has appeared in every issue of the Monitor. The paper has been known for avoiding sensationalism, producing a distinctive brand of non-hysterical journalism. In 1997, the Washington Report on Middle East Affairs, a publication critical of United States policy in the Middle East, praised the Monitor for its objective and informative coverage of Islam and the Middle East. In 2006, Jill Carroll, a freelance reporter for the Monitor, was kidnapped in Baghdad and released safely after 82 days. Although Carol was initially a freelancer, the paper worked tirelessly for her release, even hiring her as a staff writer shortly after her abduction to ensure that she had financial benefits, according to Bergenheim. Beginning in August 2006, the Monitor published an account of Carol's kidnapping and subsequent release, with first person reporting from Carol and others involved. Topic. Circulation The paper's overall circulation has ranged widely, from a peak of over 223,000 in 1970, to just under 56,000 shortly before the suspension of the daily print edition in 2009. Partially in response to declining circulation and the struggle to earn a profit, the church's directors and the manager of the Christian Science Publishing Society were purportedly forced to plan cutbacks and closures later denied, which led in 1989 to the mass protest resignations by its chief editor Kay Fanning and ASNE president and former editor of the Anchorage Daily News, managing editor David Annable, associate editor David Winder, and several other newsroom staff. These developments also presaged administrative moves to scale back the print newspaper in favor of expansions into radio, a magazine, shortwave broadcasting, and television. Expenses, however, rapidly outpaced revenues, contradicting predictions by church directors. On the brink of bankruptcy, the board was forced to close the broadcast programs in 1992. Topic. History Topic. Founding The Monitor's inception was, in part, a response by its founder Mary Baker Eddy to the journalism of her day, which relentlessly covered the sensations and scandals surrounding her new religion with varying degrees of accuracy. In addition, Joseph Pulitzer's New York World was consistently critical of Eddy, and this, along with a derogatory article in McClure's, furthered Eddy's decision to found her own media outlet. Eddy also required the inclusion of Christian science, in the paper's name, over initial opposition by some of her advisors who thought the religious reference might repel a secular audience. Eddy also saw a vital need to counteract the fear often spread by media reporting. Looking over the newspapers of the day, one naturally reflects that it is dangerous to live, so loaded with disease seems the very air. These descriptions carry fears to many minds, to be depicted in some future time upon the body. A periodical of our own will counteract to some extent this public nuisance, for through our paper, at the price at which we shall issue it, we shall be able to reach many homes with healing, purifying thought. Eddie declared that the Monitor's mission should be, to injure no man, but to bless all mankind. Topic. Radio and television Monitor Radio was a radio service produced by the Church of Christ, Scientist between 1984 and 1997. It featured several one-hour news broadcasts a day, as well as top-of-the-hour news bulletins. The service was widely heard on public radio stations throughout the United States. 
The Monitor later launched an international broadcast over shortwave radio, called the World Service of the Christian Science Monitor. Weekdays were news-led, but weekend schedules were exclusively dedicated to religious programming. That service ceased operations on June 28, 1997. In 1986, the Monitor started producing a current affairs television series, The Christian Science Monitor Reports, which was distributed via syndication to television stations across the United States. In 1988, The Christian Science Monitor Reports won a Peabody Award for a series of reports on Islamic fundamentalism. That same year, the program was cancelled and the Monitor created a daily television program, World Monitor, anchored by former NBC correspondent John Hart, which was initially shown on the Discovery Channel. In 1991, World Monitor moved to the Monitor Channel, a 24-hour news and information channel. The channel launched on May 1, 1991 with programming from its Boston TV station. The only religious programming on the channel was a five-minute Christian science program early each morning. In 1992, after 11 months on the air, the service was shut down amid huge financial losses. Programming from the Monitor Channel was also carried nationally via the WWOR Emmy service a nationally oriented feed of New Jersey TV station WWOR-TV, launched in 1990 due to the syndic's laws put into place the year prior. <laughs> Modernization The print edition continued to struggle for readership, and, in 2004, faced a renewed mandate from the church to earn a profit. Subsequently, the Monitor began relying more on the Internet as an integral part of its business model. The Monitor was one of the first newspapers to put its text online in 1996, and was also one of the first to launch a PDF edition in 2001. It was also an early pioneer of RSS feeds. In 2005, Richard Bergenheim, a Christian science practitioner, was named the new editor. Shortly before his death in 2008, Bergenheim was replaced by a veteran Boston Globe editor and former Monitor reporter John Yemma. In October 2008, citing net losses of $18.9 million per year versus $12.5 million in annual revenue, the Monitor announced that it would cease printing daily and instead print weekly editions starting in April 2009. The last daily print edition was published on March 27, 2009. The weekly magazine follows on from the Monitor's London edition, also a weekly, launched in 1960 and the weekly World edition which replaced the London edition in 1974. Mark Sapenfield became the editor in March 2017. Topic. Awards Monitor staff have been the recipients of seven Pulitzer Prizes, 1950, Pulitzer Prize for International Reporting, Edmund Stevens, for his series of 43 articles written over a three-year residence in Moscow entitled, This is Russia Uncensored. 1967, Pulitzer Prize for International Reporting, R. John Hughes, for his thorough reporting of Indonesia's attempted transition to the New Order in 1965 and the purge that followed in 1965-66. 1968, Pulitzer Prize for National Reporting, Howard James, for his series of articles, Crisis in the Courts. 1969, Pulitzer Prize for National Reporting, Robert Kahn, for his inquiry into the future of the United States national parks and the methods that may help to preserve them. 1978, Pulitzer Prize Special Citations and Awards, Journalism, Richard Strout, for distinguished commentary from Washington over many years as staff correspondent for the Christian Science Monitor and contributor to the New Republic. 1996, Pulitzer Prize for International Reporting, David Rode, for his persistent on-site reporting of the slaughter of thousands of Bosnian Muslims in the Srebrenica genocide. 2002, Pulitzer Prize for Editorial Cartooning, Clay Bennett, Topic. References Topic. Further reading Merrill, John C. and Harold A. Fisher. The World's Great Dailies, Profiles of Fifty Newspapers 1980, pp. 96-103 Topic. External links Official website About the Monitor Conchatori, Jacqueline April 28, 1997
Christian Science Church puts monitor radio up for sale. Current. Archived from the original on October 11, 1997. Kanchatori, Jacqueline. June 23, 1997. Monitor radio goes dark at end of this week. Archived from the original on October 11, 1997. Witt, Leonard. November 17, 2008. Christian Science Monitor going mostly online. Video. Public Journalism Network PJNet. Interview with editor John Yema Note, your browser might no longer support this video format.